Is 2013 going to be the year, the most important year for gay rights? I mean, the Supreme Court has DOMA coming up. What do you, what's your prediction? I think we're going to get DOMA overturned, fingers crossed, but I think they're going to punt on Prop 8. They're not going to legalize. We're not going to get a gay Roe v. Wade for marriage where they legalize it in all 50 states. Would you want that? I'm not sure. There's a lot of debate about whether that would be wise or unwise. What's your take? I mean, do you think that moving too fast is a risk, or, do you, or do you, are you one of those people who say, look, a right is a right is a right. Just give us a right. I think I can, I'm going to say both. A right is a right is a right, but I think if I think we need to take the long view and wait 20 years. Not wait 20 years? Well, 20 years for all the states. You know, if we overturn to, DOMA, right. then gay couples who live in states that have marriage equality are, are have full civil equality um, federally and at and the state And you'd be level. cool with it taking 20 years to drag Alabama I, no, not, kicking and screaming into I am not the cool 21st with it. century? I am not cool with it, but I want the change to happen. And I don't think it'll take 20 years because the pace of change is so rapid. What I think is happening right now in 2013 is we've reached this tipping point on LGBT civil rights. We've reached, you know, pro athletes coming out. Um, the pro soccer player who went in last week for the LA Galaxy and um, the pro basketball player who just came out and three states legalizing marriage for same-sex couples at the ballot box and then three in the legislature just in the last six months. We're reaching this tipping point and, yeah. uh, and we're going to win and I just worry that a Roe v. Wade style decision on gay marriage would inspire such a backlash that there would be some, re some you know, back sliding.